So I wanted to make a really brief video on substance-induced psychosis because this is something I've been thinking about a lot. And that is, we usually distinguish a substance-induced psychosis on one hand from a primary psychotic disorder like schizophrenia. However, should we be doing that? Because largely they travel the same path. Approximately 20 to 50% of those people who come in for a substance-induced psychosis eventually develop a primary psychotic disorder such as schizophrenia. So we know that there's a lot of overlap there. And the question I would pose to you guys is, could this person have developed a substance-induced psychosis if they weren't already predisposed to developing a primary psychotic disorder? Meaning the genetics, <clears throat> genetics and early life environment was such that that person was predisposed to developing a primary psychotic disorder. I'll let you guys decide.